Right, we're going to change from external room control to manual operation. So you press and hold the A, sorry, press and hold the test button until the screen starts to flash. Now we're going to use the pump up and down buttons. One button changes the first number series, the other button changes the second number series. So you want to change the first series to 6 and then the sub menu to 0, 1. 1 indicates that you've got external room control. We're going to change that to 0 and to do that you use the timer up and down button. You then press the clock with the cross through it to accept the change and then you press the test button to return to the normal menu. Now what will happen is the once the 88 has disappeared you'll have manual control over the heating through the button on the top. That will generate the pump to start and then the compressor will come on and off as it needs to depending on what temperature is leaving the unit and returning to the unit. So currently the water temperature leaving the unit we press and hold the A with the square is 38.0 and the water temperature returning is 35.9 so when the difference between the two 37 and 39 widens to, so the return temperature drops the unit knows that there's a demand or something's taking the heat away so the underfloor heating is taking the heat and when the return temperature rises closer to what's leaving it knows that nothing's taking the heat and then it will stop the compressor the circulating pump will still run this symbol here will still be on but the water is just running through the bypass and back to the unit without being used in the house. So it will know not to generate more heat so the compressor will be turned off.